Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to use the LED constructor with the help of an example. So let's get started. So this is the topic that I cover in a typical 40 to 60 minute lecture in my classroom. So this topic is about landforms of India. So here I talk about various landforms like mountains, plains, plateau, uh, desert, plains and islands. So this is the uh, content for the lecture. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it typically takes me 40 to 60 minutes uh, to cover the entire content. So let's see how to convert this content into an LED video. Here I have opened the LED constructor, which is a PowerPoint based template with guidelines for creating your LEDs. When you go to the second slide, you will see the instructions on how to use this constructor. The next slide is the overview of LED creation steps. Here, all the four steps of LED creation are listed. The first step is to identify the LED title. You will notice that there are, there are three steps. So one, choose your topic. Two, identify the breakpoints. And finally, give title for that LED. So the first step is to choose your topic. So there are two sections to this template. The first section is the slide area wherein you need to enter your text. And the next section is the notes section below where all the instructions are given on how to write your script. So as per the instructions, I need to write the name of the topic in the box. So you'll notice that I have written the name of the topic that I intend to teach. So the topic, as I mentioned earlier, is landforms of India and that I have entered here in the box above. After you identify the topic, the next step is to identify the breakpoints. The topic is landforms of India and under that topic, I'll be talking about these six landforms of India. So basically, these are my six breakpoints. So I have listed those six breakpoints one after another here in this box. If I decide to cover all these six sub points in one video, then it will get very long. So for creating LED, what I'll do is I will just use the first topic that is Northern and Northeastern Mountains as my first LED. So here on the next slide where I need to give a title for my LED, I have listed the title as the Northern and Northeastern Mountains because that is going to be the one chunk of my lecture. Once I decide and give title to my LED, the next step is to create the outline for the LED or for the video. These are the two steps uh, to create the outline. So first I need to create flow of the content, then I need to identify a reflection spot position and broad idea for the activity. So this is the flow of my LED. So first I'll be talking about introduction to the North uh, Northeastern mountains. Then I'll be talking about some interesting facts about Himalayas because Himalayas come under uh, North and Northeastern mountains. And then finally, I'll be talking about significance of the North and Northeastern mountains. So after I decide the flow of the LED, now I need to identify the reflection spot activity. So here you will notice that I have identified the reflection spot activity to appear after the second topic, that is some interesting facts about Himalayas. So after I talk, talk about interesting facts about Himalayas, I would want uh, to include a reflection spot activity for my learners. So that's why I've mentioned it here. So after you are done with the LED outline, you now need to actually start writing the LED script. So there are three steps in that. One is first, you need to create script for content to be recorded before the reflection spot. Then you need to write the content for the reflection spot. And then finally, you need to write the content after the reflection spot. So here I have written the detailed script for my LED. So if you look at the notes section below, I have added the detailed script uh, for the entire LED. And then on the slide itself, I've added only the bullet points. If required, I can always add images, graphs, 
and animation and all the things. Now I need to create the content for my reflection spot. So yeah, here I have created a reflection spot with a question uh, that contains four options. Then I also added the discussion that will go after the question. So this is my content after the reflection spot. And in the notes section, I have given the detailed script for the content after the reflection spot. So once you are done with writing the script, the last step is to refine and rehearse your content. Here in this step, you need to revisit the flow of your LED. If required, you can refine the script slides that you created earlier to ensure that learner engagement is likely to be maintained. So here what I've done is I've listed uh, the flow of my LED content and I found it to be okay. So here in the last stage, you need to rehearse your LED script. And that's what I have done. I have mentioned the details script in the notes section here, and then I read through it, and I noticed that it takes me around seven and a half minutes to read the entire script, and which is a pretty good time for an LED. So the next slide in this constructor is the checklist to ensure that the quality of your LED is good. And the last slide in this constructor is the summary of LED creation steps. So we have seen, we started with identifying the LED title, then we created the LED outline, then we wrote the actual script, and finally we refined and rehearsed it. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps you create good LED scripts.